if there was an era to go back to, let's say like kind of like a game or like six months or so, what mm -hmm. is that for Sean? For me, it'd be that whole 2015, 16 period. That was like leading up to before the red house and everything. I feel like that was just the best time, not really for like games and trick shining, but just the best time in the community. It like really peaked. It was good, yeah. The shots reached like the highest standards, like everyone was still around, nobody left. So the community just kept growing and growing and growing up until that point. And then later on, it kind of started to fizzle out. So that was just the best time period because I made the most friends and a lot of those friends, like I'm friends with in real life now, I still talk to to this day. Mm -hmm. So, and that was also the time period I, I got into content creation too. So before that, I never created any sort of content or anything like that. That's how I, I learned everything during that time frame. If you can give me like, as minimal names as possible, who were those people when you started creating content that you were? That, that influenced me? Yeah. That... I'd say Rain's the biggest one. Oh yeah. Cause I watched his videos every single night before I went to bed. That was like the one person that I took a lot of like inspiration from. That's why I free for all trick shot. I wouldn't even free for all trick shot if it wasn't for him. And a lot of those other phase guys, I watched Adapt, Rain. Well, I, I watched Adapt, Apex, Lazykin, all them, but Rain was like the main guy. He was like triple uploading. So. Oh yeah. But also the Red House guys too. I get like, cause they were the ones when I went there, I didn't really, I was more of just a trick shotter. I just kind of showed up cause I wanted to have fun and like hang out with them. I didn't really think like I was going to be doing content creation at all. Uh -huh. And then they got me a lot into it. They taught me everything I know, like how to title my videos, how to edit things like that. I kind of had an idea of how to do it before that, but they really helped me like develop my own style. I'm just letting you know, I'm going to smack, I'm going to smack a shot for this too. <laughs> you know how legendary the podcast Bill Cam would be? No one's ever done it. We've had some not so great games of Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. What keeps you going? You know, sometimes trick shotters kind of are limited or the game doesn't have enough content or you know oh a hundred percent yeah for six whatever. years we didn't have final kill cams they yes. did that play of the game stuff they finally brought them back which is great i think that's part of the reason why we're seeing it starting to kind of come back more people are trick shotting online again like hitting actual shots clips are mattering but for that time period where the games were i mean yeah they were dog shit. i'm not gonna lie they were horrible we're not gonna get fined so yeah i mean that's that was that was kind of the era where i was going back to iw4x there was plutonium i did more modded stuff more content based stuff and just tried to like grow a community through that and that stuff was really good for live streaming because it was interactive yeah but it did kind of kill the clip element to it because that is a big part of trick shine it's like hitting that shot in an actual online game on somebody like it, it it's a cool moment that actually occurred on COD where that was more just private match. But it, it kind of kept it going for a bit. But near the end, I kind of saw it. It was tough. Like I even last year, I barely uploaded. I think I made like two, three videos because I was just so done with it. All the new CODs. I, I couldn't sit there playing private match anymore. Yeah. So, but I always try to like stick around. I don't, I never kind of overreact and give up on it completely. Like guys, I'm quitting. This isn't going to work anymore because I know that something new will come that and just having friends i think that's a big thing because people always ask me why do you still trick shot like it's dead and it's i don't know i got all my friends do it it's not dead to me like why did you stick on call of duty for that time a lot of people ask me that especially during fortnite i just yeah. didn't like fortnite that game was not it i did play i've tried other uh video games like apex i like a lot the problem is my brain always just wants to trick shot. I don't know what it is. I can't just play the game normally. Yeah. I do enjoy it to an extent, like the process of getting to last and like figuring out how to get myself in the position to hit a trick shot. That's cool. But I, I just want to trick shot whenever I'm playing an FPS game. It's, it's kind of a disease and COD's just the best game for it. Like none of those other games have the look and feel that COD does. Yeah. You'll, you'll get a game like an FPS game that like you know maybe oh. a month or so that you could trick shot on but like it just nothing ever sticks really yeah apex was the only other game i kind of got into I, I thought that one was kind of cool but i love just apex still not so the same and then there's some games you're just not allowed to trick shot on like if you go and try and hit a valorant trick shot you're <laughs> 
you're going to get crucified. Like those communities do not want us there. And it's fine. We don't have to be there. Was it Gandhi who did, did zombies trickshotting? Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, just an amazing creator. I feel like I could watch anything from that man, but. Dude, yeah. I, I love Gandhi so much. <laughs> yeah. I mean, talk about just an unbelievable talent. And when you're like there in person, because obviously I got to live with Gandhi and take part in those videos. And when you're there in person, there's just so much intricacy. I don't know if that's the right word to his like his videos. The, this one, um, the jigsaw experiment is the oh, first yeah. one that comes to my mind. And that was, I think it was like, they moved everything out of Random's room like every single belonging and everything. And there were like all these clues on how you have to figure out to find it. Like they put his air mattress in the lake. They had his setup around the house and it kept getting more complex and complex. And this man Gandhi thought it was a good idea. Like, so I, I mean, it's kind of my fault. I was 19, 20 at the time. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have my license yet. I had a, a learner's permit, but I was lying. I was capping. You know, I didn't want them to know. I was embarrassed. So Gandhi just thought I had my license. So he like stole his keys in the middle of it. He's like, dude, I think this will make the video so much better. You got to take his car and drive it to Chili's. So I had to figure out to drive a random's car to Chili's. And meanwhile, it ran out of gas in the middle of it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I made it just to the gas pump. I had to have someone help me push it. it random still doesn't know about this. He's probably going to find out about this for the first time. I took his car when I shouldn't have been driving it. Almost ran out of gas, but that's like how crazy he'll go with the stuff. The idea was great. Oh, that's awesome. It's so sad that like Call of Duty events aren't like a thing anymore. Mm -hmm. I feel like people will like if you join the community after that. Like I never went to one. The the one that oh, I really? was gonna go to. Yeah, I mean, I, I told you how young I was. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, sorry. I always forget like during that time. Yeah, everybody was so much younger. I was going to go to one. I was going to go to MLG Atlanta 2017. Okay. But my nephew was born. Mm -hmm. I still hold it. I still can't look at him without knowing that he took away MLG Atlanta from me. But I I, I love You can't him. even look at it. He ruined it. Yeah. It's okay. It's whatever. Yeah, I know Anaheim was the big one. Yeah, too. And, did you go to Anaheim at all? I never went to Anaheim. I went to Champs. That was the only mm. one. Oh, what was so cool about that? That was actually the first time I ever got to like play a COD early. They had like the booths up where you can play World War II. That was the COD coming out at the time. So we got a bunch of trick shotters like at the event. All these dare guys, red guys, everybody. And then we just started setting up trick shots at the event. It was pretty funny. We, we got like 6v6 and started trying to hit the first ever trick shot before the game came out. That was probably the coolest thing ever because that was like a dream of mine as a kid to just be able to like play a COD game early. Oh yeah. But mm -hmm. as a trick shotter, like do you, do you know like more than I guess the public when it comes to like whether someone's like setting up or like faking stuff? Like do you, or like do you have your suspicions or like do you get confirmation? Beforehand. Oh yeah, no, I know everything. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, I, I can I can also just tell at this point though too. Like I can look at a clip and instantly be able to tell. You can just tell by the situation. I, I've trick shot it for so long, so it's like when you play the game, you just know that that like situation never occurs, or you're looking at how many like teammates are alive on their team, like, and it's like I noticed this in a split second, <laughs> like the time on the raid, like how how much time there is, like. If, people are moving on the radar if people are shooting like i'll just notice right away at least i can sleep well at night knowing that i'm not gonna be exposed for mm. cheating on the sore rc yeah setting up your podcast yeah. like <laughs> yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep good yeah guys he held me against my will to make this video by the way guys there's a lot of blackmail a lot of <laughs> i got a lot on sean when I think of you, I think of Modern Warfare 3. I just. I, yeah? Yeah. That's I think you know why you think of it. Like that? <laughs> that was like my game. Okay. I love that game. Okay. I was, I was going to say, because like I think of a lot of like out of the map stuff. Um, yeah. Which I just, I loved. I, I watched a lot of that stuff from you.
yeah going going back to that too it's funny when we were just talking about the setup clips things like that like out of map was a was a funny one because you're technically cheating you're yeah. like we get people on the other team to boost for us we're yeah. getting out of the map like then they they can't even kill us we're just up there going for shots <laughs> it's so funny but i i had so much fun doing that stuff and i kind of like developed a lot of my style but I, yeah. I don't really be doing that on the newer CODs, but that's just because they're not good for it. MW3 was like the one game. It was like a whole game inside of MW3. Out of map trick shotting. It, it was like you're playing a video game inside yeah. a video game, if that makes sense. Point, Once you know all these spots, and we had names for all the spots and stuff, yeah. like the first person to hit it, it was so fun. You can kind of like set your mark. That's what's cool about trick shotting. Even like today, that's kind of happening on this game. Like people are kind of creating their mark on certain spots and types of shots. No, but it also kind of makes it very ego filled too, <laughs> as you can imagine. I wonder how many trick shots I've seen actually. That is that is a good hypothetical question. Yeah. Like, like if you- I think that's the problem is I've seen too many now. If at the end of, you know, end of your life, you get a question to ask statistics wise, how many trick shots have I seen? Would be a good one. If I've seen a million trick shots. That's what I wonder. Probably at this point, I could be wrong. The number could be way lower than that or even higher. Could have seen 2 million. I don't know. Crazy if the wrist twist is back, but it's not even the same wrist twist. Just like empty your pistol ammo and it just works. That looks like the OG MW2 wrist twist. What team were you in before you joined SOAR? Before I was in SOAR? Yeah. It's actually in Parallel, which was, that was a, that was an interesting one. So that was a Fortnite team. Yeah. But all the original leaders were COD guys. That's that's part of how Parallel was popular because like they did the COD format on on Fortnite, and it was all like kind of COD people. The montages had that same feeling though. It almost felt like like the COD community reset, but on that game, and uh, they blew it up. And then they kind of wanted to come back to COD because Fortnite was not doing as as hot. So I was doing that for a bit, but I honestly, I don't think they were, they were fucking with it too much. I think they kind of, cause that's what they were known for was Fortnite. So I think over time it was just like a weird balance, you know, between Fortnite and COD, they, they didn't really know what to lean into more. So, and then the team just kind of stopped uploading. So I, I joined SOAR, which I never thought I joined SOAR by the way, like funny story. I used to hate SOAR. Cause I was in red. That was like the competitive team, the red. I led obey and, uh, sore crude was just the worst when, when you're leading obey crude does not like obey. So crude would just bully me all the time and bully obey. <laughs> so I hated sore. I had like a, like a grudge against crude and sore and stuff. And now I'm like good friends with, I love crude. Crude's my fucking favorite. I do have one last question for you. All right, let's hear it. What you have over a hundred thousand subscribers. That's true. I forget that sometimes. What was it like to hit a hundred thousand subs? Say a hundred K? Yeah. I just wanted the plaque to be honest. That plaque yeah. back there. Let me go grab that real quick. I gotta flex my plaque a little bit. This thing right here, this is all I wanted. You know the fans, all all you all them, they're cool, but this thing, this is the greatest thing ever. I love this thing.